So I found a really easy way to take attendance during Zoom meetings. So I know that a lot of us are going to have to keep track of who is in our Zoom meetings and what kiddos we're talking to. So a good way to do that is through Google Forms. Um, basically, you have them fill out their name, uh, their school ID, the date, and maybe what class they're in for you. And this is a really simple way for you to get all this information from them quickly without you having to type it in manually. Now, to actually go ahead and set one of these up, it's actually very, very easy. You just go to Google Forms, you type in Google Forms, and it's going to be the first link. And once you're on this page, you're just going to go to Personal, and you're just going to start a blank one. You're going to get something like this, and you can just title this uh, Zoom Meeting uh, Number One. And you're just going to say Attendance. And from here, all you need to do is go ahead and pick whatever questions you want. So the first one might be name, and then the next one might be their ID number. Maybe the next one might be class period. And so you would put maybe this is your first period, or second, maybe it's your A day, or your B day. It doesn't really matter whatever it is that you guys want to do. And you can add another question like maybe I suggest uh, the date. That way they can go ahead and put in what date um, if you want to use this for several Zoom meetings. That way you don't have to create a different form for each one. And then all you need to do is click required on all these. So that's going to be important so that kids don't submit anything blank make all these questions required that way they can't and they, they they have to answer them um, you can go ahead and customize your theme choose an image I sort of like this one because it goes with the virtual meeting theme so we insert it and maybe you give it there we go and then from here you're gonna go is are you gonna do is go to send um, you can ask each student to collect their email addresses um, but I don't really think that's necessary. You can give them this link or maybe you can shorten it. You just copy it here. And then once you have that copied, you can paste that here so you can see what your form is going to look like. And your form is going to look like this. So if I want to test this out, I'm in the first period and today's date would be there we go. Um, and then I submit it. Now, if you actually want to go and view your results, there's a couple ways to do this. You can actually, on the form you're using to edit, it's going to show you the responses. So there's my response right there. It's even going to break it down how many class periods you had. Or you can also go ahead and create an Excel sheet. So I like this because um, we're going to need to put it into a sort of spreadsheet anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and create a spreadsheet. Then I'm going to title Zoom meeting number one responses. And then when it creates it, it's going to pop up here and it's going to tell me, OK, these are all the kiddos that have signed in. This is their ID. This is their class period. And this is the date. And what you want to do to get this to the kids is once you have the um, the link copied, right? So again, you copy the link here, shorten the URL, copy it. I already had a copy, but just to show you again, you would just go ahead and go to Zoom, start a new meeting. Once you connect, you would just go ahead and tell your kiddos, hey, I just posted something in the chat. Go ahead and fill it out so that I can take attendance. And then once they click on it, it should take them directly to this form. So I hope that helps. Uh, I know that it's been super helpful for me because I had almost 100 kiddos join my Zoom meeting. And this way I can keep track of who was actually there.